Raquel Acompnio. Um, yo, me acompnio. Mm -hmm. Pero so yo no sé si uh, mi español ha um, uh, mejorado mucho. <laughs> Su mismo, <laughs> lo mismo. A ver, Peche. Pero estás hablando, estás Como hablando bien. mucho en español. Oh, sí. Es, oh, sí. Oh, <ríe> y, oh, pero, sí. Uh, sí, oh, sí. Uh, y la cuñada de Ana trata de enseñarme a bailar. Y, es un, <ríe> y fue un desastre. <ríe> I know, you did great. <ríe> Yeah. Y, y tienes muchas fotos entonces. Oh, sí. Oh, muchas sí. fotos. Oh, sí. Eh. Muchas fotos. Y Raquel me acompañó. Acompañado. Me, wait. Raquel. Acompañó. Ac acompañó. Uh -huh. Yes. La ginoteca. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Well, good. How many people are jealous that Carol got to visit? And, uh, <laughs> yes, well, I'm you sure. are all invited, okay? Uh -huh. But Bryce yes. doesn't need invitation, are you? But, you know, uh -huh. for the others are invited. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bryce just needs encouragement. Just yes. Go. Just get on, the, get on the plane and go. Uh -huh. Just get on the plane and go. Yep. Uh -huh. But yeah. Anna, is a, Anna um, me mandó un, un carro para transportación y oh. su hermana me lleva, ¿cómo, um, llevó, llevó, llevó a, Managua. A, a Managua otra vez, tres yeah. y media horas. Yeah. Y la uh, genoteca es más fresco de aquí. Mm -hmm. yep. I do you love Granada? I love Granada. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, it's uh, oh, it's my. I think it's one of my favorite. Uh, after Hinotega, I think Granada. I, I super love Granada. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm um, glad we saw Leon first because Leon knows that it's. You, you Granada like has that? mucho mejor. Yeah, it's it's, it's different, but uh, Leon is just beautiful. The I don't know the environment is really cool. Yeah. A lot of sí. young people, students, yeah. Hay mucho ruido en <laughs> León. Yeah. A lot of en, bad en, 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 la fin de, en, en la fin de la semana y un, uh, todos, muchas cosas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's really cool. Uh, Firecrackers. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh. All right. Leon, haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? I'm good. How is everyone? We're doing well. Yes, we've been uh, we've been doing these exercises every week. Uh, it's going pretty well. I think thanks to James, who's not here, but uh, yeah, it's made a big difference. Good. Okay. Preguntas? Algo? Si no, voy a empezar. Okay. Um, Nobody. No. Okay, here we go. Um, so let's see here. Share. This one. Okay. Con gusto, James. <laughs> good, 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 good. You could hear me. All right. Um, so Bryce, it looks like last week we only got through five of these. Is that right? Or we got new ones? Here yeah, well, we, we, we only got through probably about five of those. And yeah, I, yeah, about five, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So here we are. All right. And just uh, for people who were not here last week, you want to give us an intro? What are we doing here? What's the. Yes. What's the focus? Uh, no. Yes. These examples are uh, a, examples of reflexive verbs. 
which we all need. Ref reflexive verbs, and then we have some, if we make it through those, we have a few examples of in which we'll be able to choose, because some people were asking yeah. about the placement of, of pronouns. So it's basically a, it's 10 examples in which you get to choose two ways of saying, two ways of placing the pronoun. And so people can get more used to either way. Okay. That's what Anna's playing with down here, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. Number six. Who wants to give it a shot? Jose. Jose, ¿quieres uh, traducir este número seis para nosotros? ¿Puedes ver? Su micrófono. Um, yo creo que ellos uh, um, estarán uh, estarán muy contentos de él. Almost, almost. Están. Están. Okay. Burlándose, oh. making fun of. Están, están burlándose. Laughing, so it's they're the laughing day, at uh, him or making fun of him. There's a good word for us to remember. Good job. We'll say good job. Who's next? Um, I, I could try it. No me cae, no me cae bien porque se aprovecha de todos. Um, I don't feel well because I tasted everything. No, it's, um, it, it's, I, I don't, I don't like him <laughs> or I don't like Porque <laughs> se aprovecha. I don't like him. Yes. I don't. Because he um, what? Because he what? What? I remember aprovechar is taking advantage of an opportunity. Oh, oh you know what? I just. Oh, uh, I, 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 I was thinking. Um, okay. <laughs> No, I got it totally wrong. Okay. But the other one. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't. I don't like him. Okay. Me cae bien. So think of it it's, like he does. He doesn't sit well with me, or he doesn't. You know, he's yeah. Um, because what he takes advantage of everyone. Is that where you're going? He took yes. it. Took took it. Yes. Okay. Advantage. Okay, and this is reflexive because he takes advantage. It's because he kind of he does it within himself. He takes advantage of, of people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay.
That's one of those yeah, ones where you know you have a provechar and then you have a provecharse, you know. Mm -hmm. One's to take advantage of opportunity, the other one's to take advantage of people. <laughs> Uh, do you want to try and make a similar sentence? Me? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, no me cae bien. Let's, let's get comfortable with no me cae bien. Uh, so I don't like Okay. Him. Why does that mean no me cae bien? How does Anna, how does that mean I don't like him? He, he doesn't make me fall well what's what's going on here give us what you think when you hear that it's <laughs> more like about um how it makes you feel some some someone okay um for example uh when you take a pill for example and you take that pill okay it makes you feel good okay or makes you feel better so you get better with that pill. But if someone doesn't make you feel good, okay, that doesn't, it, it says something inside of you that doesn't feel right. Okay, so that's what we say, no me cae bien. Okay, it's like what this person make you feel. Um, You know what I mean? I, I'm not sure if it makes sense, <clears throat> but it's it's like that. Um, as I say, there's literally, a good it's, translation it's, in English. We could say, Yes. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, literally, it, it, it's it's not gonna make sense as as you know when compared to English. But of course, it's the alternative to say you know like if you say make I mean you know uh, I, I I like him. It's the alternative to saying me gusta because you know that's a little more serious. You know, so you can't you you understand. So it's, uh, yes, it's, yes, yes, yes. Yes, when you say get someone but, that te gusta alguien, means that you have feelings for that person, you feel attraction for that person. But in English, you could say it doesn't set well with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, I, I think that's very close. It doesn't set well with me or it, it does. Can yeah. you write that? So in, I like them. Um, no, 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 not that word. What Hello said, you said set well with me. It doesn't set well. well. Okay, I like that. So it's that like old English, or I can say that. No, you can. <laughs> I don't know. I, I you can say that. You I don't can. think because you know sometimes it's uh it, the translation is like old English. But, but let's leave it up to Bryce. Is that something Bryce would say? If no, he, no, it, if a... it is, then it's okay. No, that no, that's uh, I mean, that's a very common. Th thank you, Carol. Uh, that's, He's a modern, the modern man. We wanted to have no, here no, for the modern no, I mean, man. No, <laughs> but, you know, it's it's very common to say like it, it doesn't. He doesn't sit well with me, or it doesn't sit well with me. I, it's 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 common for people to say that, and and it makes perfect sense when somebody hears it, they understand it. Okay, uh, and is this how you said, like, me cae bien? You, did you say it was a little bit softer than me gusta? Yes. Or yes. how did you describe that? It's softer because it's soft because if you say that you like him using gustar, then it's, or a person, then you're, it, it's more serious feelings. And that's right. just the like, way of saying like you like them like without, him. in a romantic, you, you know, you can say me cae bien, you know, that, that doesn't mean you like them in a romantic way, whereas I mean, like, is. I like I like the kind of person he is. I like how. Yeah, he when is, you say like... that me gusta él or ella me gusta, basically you're saying that if you feel attraction for that person. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why we never say that unless we <laughs> we like someone. <laughs> okay. In English, is a different story. Yes. Oh. Yes. We we like and love everything. Yeah. We love, we love, <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> we love chips. Oh, maybe it's, like, it's we, good. We know. Yes. Yeah. It's the, what's the context into English? English also because you can say you like somebody. You can just use the exact same words, and just so you have to just know the context. You know, I I like you know if I say oh I like her or I like him, it doesn't depending on the context yeah you know, but see think context. about this if you have a latina girlfriend okay and you say oh i like her oh my god 
<laughs> yeah. When you yeah. say you, you will say, be in trouble. Like, you say, I like someone else, right? What? You have a, yes. oh. you have a Latina girlfriend and you say, yes. oh, yes, I met this woman at work and I like and her. And I like her. Oh, my God. Yes. That's, That's serious it. thing. You yeah. did. Okay. Yeah. I met this person at work, and, and she's a nice co-worker. That's, <laughs> that's, that's right. uh -huh. Yes. yes. It's I, very I have friendly. A on that one. Yes. Peter, Hello, everybody, go. by the way. Hi. Hey, Pete. <laughs> Long time no see. Um, what, what is the verb? Is it caerse? Caer. Yes. Caer being. And that's, I like? I thought it was to uh -huh. I fall or... Yeah. Um. um. It's this is one of those. It's not. It, it, it's just not going to translate. It, it, okay. The way it translates it exactly. Make Kaye bien. Okay. Don't we sometimes say when it's a romantic thing? You can say I've fallen for her. No, that's something. Different. Is that different? <laughs> yeah, that's different. Um, that would have made that would have made sense to me, Carol. Thank you. It would have made sense, <laughs> but you know it was wrong. <laughs> um, I I I would I would chalk this up as like a phrasal verb. You know how how we have so many phrasal verbs in English. Um, Do we? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Oh. Okay. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Yeah. Um, get up, get down, get lost, get a get. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Um, I think what to take away from this, Pete, and everybody, and myself included, is is this example that Bryce has given us so that when we hear <clears throat> when we hear this we're not confused like like what does that mean because we're not trying to translate as he fell down he fell me down he you know he likes that's it he i like him i don't like him that's... okay because it if we're waiting for gustar and we hear no me cae bien. We have, and we we've never come across this. Then, while we're trying to figure it out, they say five more things, and we miss them all. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Don't don't, don't hurt yourself. Uh, no te las estimes. <laughs> That's his best. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Like oh. Okay. How do you Anna, how do you tell your children don't fall down? Don't fall down. Don't take a Yeah. Without the guys. Like I, I'm thinking about. Yeah, I know the the caigas or caigas or caigas. Uh huh. Caigas. You can say caigas. You should say caigas. I'm gonna continue saying caigas. Could you could you put it in the chat? Yeah. Could you put it? Okay. No take kai gas. Huh. Mm -hmm. So us normal people say kai gas and Nicaraguans say kai gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> is that not true? <laughs> well, not just Nicaraguan people. <laughs> Who else? Jose? Um, Honduras, um, 
Argentina. Cuando quiere decir. Some people in Mexico. No te caigas. José Lomeli, no si yo te digo, cuidado, te no, no te caigas. Do you, um, si, José, si yo te digo, no te caigas, ¿vos me entendés? ¿Sí o no? Of course he understands. <laughs> Se entiende, so pero, pero no está, no suena bien. No te caigas. Sí suena bien, José. José, vamos a hablar seriamente. No te caigas, porque... No te caigas. Ay, no te caigas, I'm so soft. Caigas. Caigas. Ok. Pero en español, de luego, sí, no sé. En algunos lugares eh, tenemos esa modalidad o en algunas partes ¿Mm? cambiamos el acento y nos entendemos. ¿ves? Sí. Pero, Vos sabés que, bueno, pues, sí. es diferente, sí. hace colocado el acento en diferentes sílabas, pero uh -huh. entendemos. Uh -huh. yep. I, I want to, I'm sorry. Yes, no. Go ahead. No, I wanted to point out something listening to Jose talk, because uh, it's, a, it's a good example of, of turning something into um, a reflexive verb. Like, entender is normally, you know, it's not reflexive, but he used, he said, nos entendemos, which is actually more like entenderse, because nos entendemos is like we understand each other. So that, that's just a, that's a good example on, on some verbs that you, you make reflexive or you speak as if they're reflexive. Nos entendemos, for example. Nice. Great. Yeah. Okay, number nine. Hey. Um. Les cuesta mucho levantarse a las cinco de la mañana. My guess is you know every one of those words. But, but when you put them together, it don't make sense. Exactly. It costs right. a lot to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is hard. It is very yes. hard to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. It's, it's, it's hard to wake up. It's difficult or, or they have a hard time. They have a hard time waking up at five uh -huh. o'clock. Good guess. Les cuesta mucho. Yeah, 5 a.m. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> uh, yeah. I'm going to take this out uh, at 5. I'll make it the same as the top, but uh, yeah, everybody knows 5 a.m., right? Yeah. Okay, so les cuesta mucho. They have a hard time. So how does it costs them a lot turn into they have a hard time? It costs them a lot of stress, maybe. <laughs> I know that stress. Taxing. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Um See if you can make a similar sentence there, Peter. What else? Les cuesta mucho que. Yo. Um, corriendo. Or, you want to use the infinitive. Yeah, uh, corri correr. Diez miles. That yes. probably goes for a lot of us too. Les cuesta mucho correr what? Diez kilo kilómetros. Wow. Les cuesta mucho. I can run ten meters. I read something today. I'm going to write this and then I'll delete it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Let 
that's not true. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the two. <laughs> there we got her. There we got her. <laughs> now nah, she got it. <laughs> oh, <that's weird. laughs> you can show this, show this to David. Okay. So yeah. Set this for him. Okay. That's that's why you, that's because you are married, okay? You know, my brothers used to have a flat stomach, but it's as soon as they got married, boom, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it disappeared. <laughs> yeah. But I like that the L is silent. <laughs> okay. That was sorry, funny. guys. All right. Um, he's becoming famous. How can we say that? And since this is a reflexive lesson, we can guess that there's some reflexive part of this. Who's next? Um, anybody? Leon, you want to try that one? Okay. Um, ley está volviendo famoso. I don't know if that's right or not, but people use volverse. You could you you could use that. People use hacerse, volverse, but that's okay. so that's that's people use volvien volverse also. I said I said lay, but I forgot about say. Yes. Y también um con convierte se convierte converter. Está convirtiendo. It's right. It is not wrong. Um, but I think it's more accurate. Uh, volviendo. Okay. Se está convirtiendo, um, converting, um, is is different. Like for example, we will use more like, like a person that is converting to a different religion, for example. And that will be more accurate. Se está convirtiendo a una nueva religión. Okay. Which which they would understand either one, right? Anna? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, great. Okay, that's good. Number 11. Hey, por ahí, Faith, mucho. Oh. A tu madre. You seem a lot like your mother. Or you look you look a lot like your mother. Or just yes, you're a lot you look of, a, you're a lot you look alike? Or you look a lot like you you look a lot like when you use parecerse is it's the to uh, looking up to look like someone. Parecerse a ah. and you look a lot like your mother. <clears throat> what would be you act a lot like your mother or you seem a lot like your mother? Well, I guess you say, you say pares, pareces, you seem, pareces, but it just, just wouldn't be, um, it would be um, reflexive. Mm. You seem a you seem a lot like because you seem as parecer uh, and to look like as parecerse. Interesting. Okay. Let's get that in here. Um, yeah. What was your question, James? He was asking um, if you say, go, I'm sorry, James. You can <clears throat> yeah, no, that's okay. Go ahead. Um, Bryce, stop apologizing. Just jump. Oh, no, why? Just why? Talk. Just, just, just talk. Just, just okay. Jump. Jump over. He was asked. <laughs> he was asking if you 
how would you say you you seem a lot like your mother? Okay, and so how, how is that? How do we say that? Pareces without the te? Well, yes, it would be. It would be you seem. It would be yes without the te because it wouldn't. It would just be for parecer. Boy, this is uh Is that right, Bryce? Is that accurate? Parecer says look look alike. Well, no, parecer is actually well more like it's to seem to seem seem like. Okay. Like if I say okay. it doesn't seem like, you know, like in my job, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of work today. No parece que haya mucho trabajo hoy, you know. Okay, that sounds familiar. Great. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to uh and I go ahead and that day is part of that, okay? Okay. Uh, number 12. Jose? You're on mute. Microphone. So, microphone. Jose? What they say? Eh, eh, cálmate porque tú <coughs> porque te vas a estresar mucho antes before antes before antes Yeah, I wanted to say something else about that. I I I had put estresarte for that. Um and and just because and I understand que, que te estreses, but for that one, like estresarte, I put yeah, I'm sure you could you could use that too. I'm just saying I had put estresarte because it's it's implied in estresarte um that your uh, say the whole up. sentence in Spanish. What were you thinking? Calmate antes de estresarte. No. Okay, so. Okay, so it's interesting what you're saying. But if you say this, calmate antes de estresarte means relax now, calm down now, and then you can you can get stressed. <laughs> Or you can stress, stress out. Yourself. Yourself. Oh, so you're saying no. You're saying no. Okay. No. No. Okay. Yeah. So. So it'd be more like can... say, so that you don't exactly. Do it. Yes. Yeah. No, I got so you. because in that one to say, <laughs> come come down now and then, uh, okay. you can okay. stress yourself out. You know. No, no, that's so. that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> come down yeah. before. Just just do it before. Okay, no, let's don't erase this, Anna. Oh, yeah, I okay. won't. Uh, that is a really good thing. Um, this yeah. is more like because it's so because that's people that so that's one of those examples <laughs> that probably in, in English people would say it like calm down before you stress yourself out you know so it's it's one of those things that you know calmate antes de te estreses calmate um, para que no te estreses I'm sorry calm down so that you don't stress yourself out Tranquilízate. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, exactly. Relájate. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Okay. That's um, interesting, though. It makes you doubt yourself saying that in English, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, but you can see that is like if you're about to take a test, right? Uh, like, a, like your driver's test, right? It's like, be calm. Stress yeah. yourself out later. <laughs> Before you stress yourself out. Okay, don't some people it. say don't some people say tranquilo? Lots that's why I said that's why I said tranquilizate. Right. <laughs> Never say that to a woman. <laughs> no. You know, I, I, I saw this is just on a quick it's note. It's never I saw, helpful. <laughs> yes, James, remember that. Bryce, don't say that to a woman. Tranquilizate. No, I, it's dangerous. <laughs> I saw I saw on a meme that says if a woman is upset, just tell her to calm down. No, and trust no. me, she'll calm down. No, 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 <laughs> no. Don't do that ever, ever. It never works. Mm -mm. It's just getting worse. <laughs> Things get worse for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Accelerate <laughs> rapidly. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> um okay, cuando te vas a deci decidir. That's pretty basic, right? If it's pretty basic, maybe I should do it. I'm not doing <laughs> too well. <laughs> um, when are you going? Are you going to decide? Right. So um, there's an interesting distinction on that, though. But but that yeah, but it's not necessarily right. <laughs> that 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 it's it's actually when in in a reflexive manner, it's to make up your mind. Ah, and you can say, of course, cuando vas a decidir, but you just when are you going to get decide? When you're going to decide, yeah. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. When you're going to when are you decide? going to de decidirse is make up your so, mind. Oh, so okay. Decidirse okay, is wait, to wait, make wait, up wait, your wait, mind. Wait. Compare this it. to wait. Let's uh, wait. I want to say. Um, Yeah, you can we, say that also. Yes. Right. So when are you going we, to decide? So that, whereas this one, let's get in. Um, I think they're kind of similar for me. Well, they well they are similar, but it's they, still a distinction because, like, if someone says decide it, they they're not saying decide you. Okay. You know, they're saying make up your mind. For example, and and because you can feel that reflexiveness, right? Like you 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 have to make up your own mind. I can't make up your mind for you, right? I can't, right? right. Um, I I I like that that distinction here. Um, Right. Uh, anyway, okay. So I think that's a great example, Bryce. Great. Okay. Any comments, anybody? All right. Next. Where is Raquel? Uh, she's sick. Um, she she's a little bit sick. She texts me. She can she go and join. She will join next week. She have some bad coffee. What? What? <laughs> mm -hmm. I I think she has a call. <laughs> You know, there was to go for her <laughs> for uh, her 40 degrees. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. So we say this to children, but we say this to everybody, but especially no, to children. an adult. <laughs> uh -huh. Fine, but you're only hurting yourself. Mm-hmm. How, how do we say that? Okay, try. I will write it. 
translated of the physical degree flow, this flow, you know, blood broke out. Let's they do this. Okay, uh, yourself, Timismo, um, solo, uh, solo te estas hurting, last, Jared, last demand, last demand, last That's perfect. Solo, last demand, yes, a Timismo. Now, of course, the last demand te is if you didn't put the te in there in the front, you solo estas lastimando te. But since you already put the tag, so you don't, and you don't, you don't have to put it twice. because it's already reflexive, right? Yeah. So, so we don't need both of the tags. Right? So it says, mm -hmm. right, right, right. So let this test last thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that will be the other way. And of course, the, the, Accent will be over the A in the first one. That's yeah. mandote. Yeah. Yes, put your brows over last mandote. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to see why it's. You're yeah. only hurting me. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Google. <laughs> Good job, Google. All right. So, but you, okay. So that's already reflexive. And so you don't need that. So that yourself is built into it and you do not need a ti mismo or anything. You can like say that. that. Solo te estás lastimando a ti mismo. In this case, solo te estás, solo estás lastimando te a ti mismo. Um, it's optional. Okay. It's not wrong, it's just not necessary. Right. Okay. How do you say, I never meant to hurt you? Nunca quise right. lastimarte. That is a great, everybody should remember that. Yeah, it's used frequently in romantic relationships. <laughs> Carol's about yes. to break up with someone. <laughs> no, I just, want to, I just want to keep it in mind for later reference. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good luck. Nunca quise <laughs> lastimarte. lastimarte. Okay, okay, I'll start that one. Yes, me too. Ambos nos sentimos enfermos hoy. How many is ambos? Both. Dos. Both. Dos. Dos. So what is this, Carol? What does this mean? Uh, both nos sentimos. Um, I think it means we're we're both feeling sick today right it is whoa <laughs> <laughs> yay. Yay. yay good uh-huh we're both feeling sick today or we both feel sick today both of each one all right what is the difference between ambos and nosotros dos no different Nothing. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Put on your jacket. I have a guess on this one. Good, go for it. <laughs> okay. Te pongas tu chaqueta. Ponte? Yes. Oh, well, I, you were well, you, you would use ponga if you were pongas if you were telling them not to put on a jacket. <laughs> okay, no. All right, explain that. Ponte pongas. 
Ponte. If you were saying not, not to, to, don't put on the jacket, it'd be no te pongas. Okay. Ponte. So explain, Bryce, why is it Ponte and, and not pongas? Because it's, 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 yes, it's, a, the, it's a negative say you're telling them not to do something, you have to use the subjunctive. You're telling them to do something, you have, have to use the imperative. I mean, both of them are, sub, are imperative statements, but you have to use the subjunctive when you're telling someone not to do something. Okay. You can decide to put on the jacket or not. Right. Like somebody says, don't do that. No, no, I got eso. They tell you to do it. Haz eso, for example. <clears throat> what? Boy. So, there's a lot of good sayings from Ponte, too. Ponte las pilas. I love that one. Ponte las pilas. Como? Ponte las pilas. Las pilas is just like a way of telling, trying to get somebody motivated, you know. Like put in the batteries. <laughs> put in the batteries. <laughs> uh... And and poner ponerse just 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 to, for reference, ponerse of course is when ponerse is when you're putting on something versus poner, which is to, to put something. Or to try on something, which okay. try on something if you want to get a try on something. Okay. Try is probably better to try something on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Voy a ponerme los pantalones, you know, something like that. So is this put on or try on? It's the well, try on when it try on. It is the try on is the most accurate for ponerse to try on. In this case, in this example. Okay. So, Pete, how are you feeling about that? Better. Okay. <laughs> I, got right. my, I got my little book out. Great. Are we learning anything? Let's see. I Ponte. dirigirse. Jose, traduce de español a inglés. I don't know. I don't know. Su micrófono otra vez, por favor. Yeah. He doesn't. Uh, um, he doesn't know uh, how to, uh, to how to, I don't uh, I don't know what is it. Um, did he doesn't hit? know how to to talk to like approach or or address his how supervisor to, about about. Uh, his uh, his boss. Yes. His uh, about. It's to his boss. To his supervisor. His supervisor. Yeah. How to talk? How to approach? How? So talk how to, to or approach. approach. He doesn't know how to something. Talk to mm -hmm. or approach his supervisor. Yes. Now, I, I just want to make a, a small note on that one just to give you another verb. Uh, now, that's more, you know, you're approaching a professional person. But if it's like you know, a guy wanting to approach a, wo a woman that he likes, you know, no sabe cómo acercarse a ella. He doesn't know how to approach her. You will use acercarse. But it's those are very, very similar. But being the, the, the supervisor, it's more of a formal, professional setting. He would use did he his thing, but for, for like just non formal situations, informal situations, I say, God say. Okay. 
Do you just like sit and and read <laughs> verbs? I was just <laughs> saying, like, more and more impressed like, every time I hear this guy speak. Or just you know, you just you, you, you was hating your years, <laughs> right? No, just, you learn, you just learn, keep learning stuff all the time, you know. And then you know, is this I learn, what you I do? ask questions. Sometimes I ask honor questions. What's the difference between this and that? You know, I just I just keep this. It's amazing, really, honestly watching series and just listening to people talk like i'm more and more on this it just you know you just, i'm just picking up more stuff just from just kind of organically you know just listening to people talk but yeah it's just it's just you know you're my idol yeah <laughs> that's what i have too right okay you it's not working that? james hey, just, you should uh, read it how's that <laughs> working it works if you read it <laughs> At the bottom of the page, Diddy here, there's a little blurb in yeah, fine here. print, Diddy here say, ah, to make Diddy one's here way say, to ah. or to address. Yes, Diddy mm -hmm. here say, ah. Uh -huh. Yes, that's good that you said that because that's the way you want to think of it. So you don't have to think about what uh, preposition, of, but you know, always think of think of it already as Diddy here say, ah, instead of just Diddy here say, or I said, God say, ah, you know. Deep. That's amazing. Bryce, you're amazing. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Peter, what was the verb that you said for dirigirse? Dirigirse In English? a. Uh huh. In English, what did you say? To make one's way to, or to go to, or to address. Address, address, address. Address, yes. Address. She okay, doesn't that's know what how to address her, yeah. Okay. You speak to keep going, guys. One minute, please. Give me a second. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit. Is that right to address? Yeah. Well, for Diddy hearsay, technically yes. it's address, it's... but well, uh, that's... How, 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 it's 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 for that. That we well, use that all the time. How do you address somebody? How do you say something to somebody? How would you address your supervisor? How would you address, you know, I, I don't think it's uncommon. Do you think so, Bryce? No, no, that's it's very common. That's very common. It's not like putting your name on an envelope. It's like to, to talk to somebody. It's just the only difference in or English. You could, also you could say, say, I don't know how to also... approach you or eat, but... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carol. You were saying. Something. Oh, I was going to say you can also say if uh, how how am I going if you want to say how am I going to approach this subject subject and how am I going to address this problem? I, well, I know. Right. Yes, I think this is the more accurate in Spanish to address. Dirigirse for dirigirse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Address his supervisor to talk, apply, approach. I think maybe address is right too. If you're, if you're, well, yes. it could be either. Address is more the it, it is literally getting his say out. It's it's more of, of address. It's just it's just a small a, a distinction between address and approach. In this case, is you know you want to use address or did he hear say ah you know when in a professional setting or or you know your boss or supervisor or but it was just a personal matter you know just a person you a friend or someone you want to meet or something and it's but you could I said you could say. also say could you oh if you say um how are you going to address the cardinal when you see him like I'm going to say your excellency so that would be like a title. Yes, but you you still you you would use Diddy Hissing for him because you know he's a he's a cardinal. <laughs> he's a cardinal. I didn't know English was so complicated. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
You know, sometimes I need to remember that I don't have to say popcorns with ass, just popcorn. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. It's already plural. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Susan, how about this one? Um, yo, I don't know tattoo in uh, Spanish. Is it this? Did they say the same thing? Tat is it tatuar? Tat the verb is is, is tatuarse. Oh, okay. T tatuarse. Yo, yeah, I've heard that. Yo, yo me um, tatuarse. Tat tat me tatuo. Ah, uh, tatuwe. Yo me tatuwe. Mi mi hombro. So yeah, you can say now you could use mm -hmm. L because when you say me tatue, it's already implied that it's your shoulder. But, um, but it's still correct. Know. It's still correct yeah. to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bueno, Susan. Good job. <laughs> Gracias. So way. Yeah. So I didn't literally tattoo my own shoulder, even though I say that. I tattooed yes. my shoulder. Like a service that you got. Like it's just, yeah, that's. I that's got my shoulder tattooed. I got a tattoo on my shoulder. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's obvious you are not going to tattoo yourself. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's why I did the sec, those two, 18 and then 19. I did that just to kind of give examples of services. But, you know, you would say the way you would say it. We're not literally, literally the way they are done, but that's just the way they are said. Yeah. Okay. uh great okay let's uh let's let's do these last two couple let's get these done these last two um the haircut itself huh. <laughs> <laughs> he he caught his hair oh yes you were right his hair or got his hair or caught. He cut, she cut her hair, or he he cut his hair, whichever one. They cortó el pelo. Isn't that literally what it means? No. <laughs> All right. El, okay, he got his hair cut. He cut his hair. All right. Um, this is me. Number 20 is me. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I know. Give me a heart. Clever dad or no? ADD in a bad way. Okay. See you later, Leo. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Thanks. Good to see you. Uh, you get distracted very easily. Hi, How do yes. I say that? I'm ready. What? Think that's you? You can try. Then what? Uh, distracted. Uh, I don't know. May something tan fácil. May destroy. May... Te distraes. Tú te distraes fácilmente. Two J, you get two te distraes. Facilidades. Te miente con mucha, con mucha facilidad. Mucha facilidad. Facilmente, mucha facilidad. Distraes, distraes. So I get distracted is yo me distraigo. Distraigo. 
you want me to strive? Yeah, let's write that down. You good to strive? There's one interesting thing about that too is this this traerse, you know, it has traer in it. So it it basically all the the uh all the conversions, all the conjugations are just like traer, for example. <laughs> That's cool. Right. Traer, distraer. Okay, distraigo. Distraerse. Okay. Well, everybody, I am that was a good session. I would say thank you again and again and again. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, I know there's some things down below here that I assume we will continue with next week. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, I'm going to do that. I tried to help you. These are good. Okay. So, Anna, maybe we can put these in a new document. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Have a beautiful week. Gracias. Una buena semana. Gracias. Um, José Lomeli, ¿quieres, quieres, quieres, <ríe> ¿quieres el documento? Te lo puedo mandar al, al grupo. Ah, sí, Estabas por favor, copiando. Sí, Está bien. Ok. Ok. Buenas noches. Buenas, Buenas noches, noches a todos. Cuídate. Adiós. Nos vemos, José. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 B